Hello booktube, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with the October 2017 book club picks. And very quickly, this is Goran. Um, someone mentioned in one of my Friday Reads videos that they wanted to see more of the cats. And this is the best that I can do. <laughs> He's extremely unimpressed right now, but there he is. Alright, there you go sweetheart. It's too hot to be doing that. It got disgustingly hot around here. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, let's jump in and talk about the book club picks, um, which is why you guys are here. So, quick addendum before I start talking about the book club picks. Um, I just wanted to let you know that if your number does not get picked, like the number that you picked, if it's not one that I pick, please don't take any kind of offense to it. Um, there is kind of a way that I like to do this. I mean, I know I have you guys pick me numbers, and then those are the ones that you get to pick from because those numbers of course correspond to books that are on my TBR on Goodreads and um, now he's now I'm getting bat dirty looks from the cat for picking him up um, correspond to books on my TBR from Goodreads but sometimes there's like 10 numbers picked and I'm not going to go through 10 I don't want to give you guys like too much choice because sometimes too much choice is not a good thing so I like to keep it around five books so I think this time we had like eight so what I do is I find what all the books are and then I kind of go through them and I try and get a nice mixture of different types of books. So that way you kind of have something different to pick from. So um, yeah, so that's how that works, just so you know. So let's jump in and get started. So the first number was book number 372 and that is A Bollywood Affair by Sonolia, I think it's Sonolia Dev. Now I read The Bollywood Bride earlier this year and it was so good. I think I gave it five stars. If not, it was four and a half. So um, just for these, I'm just going to read you guys the backs a little bit just to kind of tell you what they're about because it's Monday night. I just got home from work and I didn't prepare as well as I should have. So I do apologize. Um, so, okay, this I'm just kind of reading it really quickly here. Okay, so it's about a woman who hasn't seen her husband in a long time, and she's a Bollywood actress, and I guess that maybe the husband was an actor, and the two of them maybe get back together? I don't know. It sounds really, really good. Um, it says, heartfelt, witty, and thoroughly engaging. Um, this was her debut novel. The author's debut novel is a vivid exploration of modern India and a deeply honest story of love in all its diversity sounds great and that cover is stunning absolutely stunning um, the next book number that we had to pick from um, was ooh, what number sorry I'm jumping around 360 and I think two people picked this number and this is um, the house of secrets by Elizabeth Elizabeth Blackwell this is a Harlequin super romance novel um, and it says the house is special Alyssa Franklin knows um, this from the moment she walks into the rundown structure. Aided by carpenter Danny Pierce, she launches a restoration project to turn the place into her home. As each layer of decoration is stripped away, they grow closer. They also uncover the century-old mystery surrounding the original owners and a private love affair. The secrets aren't restricted to the past, however. The ones between Alyssa and Danny could de jeopardize their relationship. Now she must choose to either walk away or find the courage to embrace a future with him. That sounds really nice. Ooh, that'll be a good one, I think. So that's the next one you guys have to pick from. Um, the next book, um, also keeping with the kind of romance theme. Now, I did try and pick a bunch of, like, some different books. So, you know, these might all be romance. The first three might all be romance-themed. But, you know, one is a very diverse romance. Um, the diverse from what I normally read in romance, let's put it that way, or what most of us normally read in romance. The second one is, of course, a category romance, and then here is more of a chiclet women's fiction kind of romance. And this is Four Friends by Robin Carr. Um, I'm not going to read you guys the whole back of this book because it's quite the description, but it's essentially about four friends. And at a point in their lives where there's a lot of different things happening, um, it seems like somebody's like de having issues with their children, someone's having issues with their husband, one is single. It kind of reminds me, in a way, of The Girls of Mischief Bay by um, Susan Mallory, which I read earlier this year and I really enjoyed. Robin Carr is a great writer, um, a very prolific writer as well, so this is your next one to pick from. Now, I have to admit, if I, well, you know, I can vote. I don't see why I can't vote. Um, I said I was going to do it last month and I did it, but I'm definitely going to do it this month and put my picks at the very top. 
Um, the last two books are ones that when I saw them both come up, I got super excited, and these are the two that I would pick. No pressure. You guys pick what you want to read. And as usual, it'll all be voted on, like whichever book has the most votes is the one that we're going to read, so don't feel any pressure. But first one, book number 358 is Body Movers by Stephanie Bond. This is the very first book in the Body Movers series. This is an older series. Um, I think the third, um, like books th four, five, and six came out the year my husband and I met, which is at least eight years ago. So this book has to be at least 10 plus years old. You know, I could just bring it up on Goodreads and find out when it was actually published. Um, this series is amazing. Um, there are six books in the series, seven or eight now, I think, actually. She's written a couple others. This came out in 2007, so I was right, it is 10 years old. So again, I'm just going to read you the back because it'll do such a better job of explaining it than I will. Carlotta Wren, uh, Carlotta Wren that's the main character's life, hasn't turned out as she's planned. She didn't plan for her parents to skip bail for a white collar crime, leaving her to raise her brother. She didn't plan on having the silver spoon ripped from her mouth and foregoing, foregoing college to work in retail. She didn't plan on her blue blood fiance dumping her, and she didn't plan on being, still being single 10 years later working at Neiman Marcus with no idea where her fugitive parents are. She's coping until her lovable brother is arrested and the hunky cop decides to reopen her parents' case. Her brother becomes a body mover for the morgue, and his sexy boss gets Carlotta involved. Her former fiancé's wife is murdered, fingering Carlotta. With three men in her life, Carlotta has added motivation to help bag the murderer to keep her own well-dressed body from being next on the list. So good. If you guys like um, the Stephanie Plum series by Janet Ivanovich, I highly recommend you check out this series. It's got just the right amount of humor in it. Um, without making it to be like a psychological thriller. Like, you know, you listen to that description and you know it does sound like it's going to be a little wacky, a little off the wall. Fabulous, fabulous book, you guys. It, I, again, if I was, if it was my way, it would be between this one and the last one. So the last book you guys have to pick from. I don't know why, but I am in a mood for historical. Maybe it's the time of year. You know how people always go, it's summer, I want to read contemporary. I guess maybe in the fall and winter I like historicals. When this book came up I got super excited because this has been on my list to read since at least last summer and I still haven't gotten to it yet and every time I pass by it on my TBR I'm like I need to read that book. I have a physical copy of this book but this is probably one I'd end up reading on um, on audio and that book is Hanging Mary by Susan Higglebotham and like I said this is a historical novel let me read you the back of this one. Um, meet Mary Seward, the woman who could have saved Lincoln. Find out what happened, her, what, what stopped her in this vivid reimagining of Lincoln's assassination. In 1864 Washington, one has to be careful to talk with, uh, to, with the talk of succession. Better to speak only when in the company of the trustworthy, like Miss Seward. A widow who runs a small boarding house, Mary Seward isn't half as committed to the cause as her son Johnny. If he's not escorting veiled spies, he's inviting home men like John Wilkes Booth, the actor who is even more charming in person than he is on the stage. But when President Lincoln is killed, the question of what Mary knew becomes more important than anything else. Based on the true history of Mary Seward, Hanging Mary reveals the untold story of those on the other side of the assassin's gun. Right? Right? Does that not sound great? Anyway. <laughs> those are the books you guys have to pick from um, so I don't want to make this video too long and I've gone on long enough I'm sure but um, as usual as I did last month if more than one book if all five books float your boat post that in the comments below just say I want to read all five or I want to read these three or I want to read these two because sometimes it's hard to just pick one believe me I know it's a toss up for me between body movers and hanging Mary two vastly different books that just interest me so much. Um, although I have read Body Movers before, but it was a long time ago, so it would absolutely be a reread for me. But either way, please post in the comments below what book you guys are interested in reading for our October um, book club. And I will announce a video next Sunday to let you guys know which book was picked. Until my next video, guys, take care and happy reading. Bye.